Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. I leveled up to level 8 off screen, and which is just a level 2 fights. And for some reason I bought only one. We're buying some starting supplies, and one thing I always do is get 5 antidotes. I always regret it if I don't. They lost me for quite a while, but I find it super if I don't. Paralyzed heal as well, and then awakening if I can afford it. Which I can. So, we already have two potions, so we're going to use the money to buy two more Poke Pulls. Because again, we only have one shot. I doubt we're going to get lucky and find anything. And so now, I didn't show you, show you guys, but this idiot right here was blocking us and sketching footprints of himself, thinking they're or a Pokemon, like some stupid idiot, can't even tell some footprints from someone else's. We have this kid up here. Who's going to catch a whole bunch of Pokemon, and oh fuck. Well, let's see what we got. Yes, we got a Zigzagoon. Fuck yeah. So, Donut's out here to hopefully not kill this mother- kill this guy. So, too much Mudslap should take it down low well enough for us to catch it. I'm definitely not off the deck growl. So, let's blind this little shit one more time. And... Let's use a Pokeball. There's seven Pokeballs. If you don't catch it in any of these, I'm gonna be severely disappointed. One, two, three, and click. Except that there's no clicking sound in this game for some reason. So... Pokedex entry you guys could read. I've played this game so many times. I know most of the stuff. And sorry about bumping my mic right there. And like the rules say, we have to nickname every Pokemon. And so we're gonna nickname it after its typical rule. Typical rule. So it's up there, but you guys can guess it. H M. And again, went to the wrong one. Derp. derp. And there we go. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a reference to it. Another Let's Player who did a game from the same generation. And if you guys have not heard of this Let's Player, you guys are definitely watching, watching the wrong person. So, Slabinator. Reference to Chugga Con Conroy's Pokemon Emerald playthrough. Where unfortunately, he didn't level up his Zigzagoon to uh, take advantage of the pick me up ability. And yes, Zigzagoon will be an HM slave for me. Slavenator will obey his name, but again, I will level him up because pick me up is fucking amazing. Being able to find rare candies as you're just walking around. This little shit finds stuff all over the damn place. And so we're actually going to level him up. And again, another female member on our, on our team. And I'm gonna go level them up off screen, so I'll be back in a minute. Hello guys, and welcome back. I got done grinding Zigzagoon to level 6. And that took a few minutes, but not too long. So we're gonna get our boxes set up. So, of course, we thought we are gonna fill up box 1, but we need to get our death box done. Set up. And we're gonna name it because according to most religions that's where all Adam that's pretty much where everyone goes when they die so that's done so any Pokemon we catch should go into box one and we won't get our live Pokemon confused with our dead one so let's head down route 102 and fight this little twerp see what he has. He has a Zigzagoon. Mine's better. And watch Slavenator get killed right about now. So again, nothing entertaining, just tackling everything to death because it's so early on. And thank god, um, for those of you who don't know, Trainer Battles give significantly more XP, so half a level just from that. Yeah. Trainer battles are amazing. So we got a soul sub bug catcher here. 
anyways, for as I was saying earlier, um, I don't know if it's last episode or not. Um, this game basically dominated my childhood. I know pretty much everything about it, yet almost nothing about it because I forgot. Because I don't know how, remember how to do or reach any of that stuff because everything is so fragmented from it being so long ago. And this wormhole just jizzed all over Slave Nader, basically. Um, so, again, we may not be able to find everything, so we may not be able to find Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, and Reggie Rock, and all those. Um, nope, we're gonna stay in, and Slave Nader already has an item! Holy crap! Um, we're gonna stay in here, hopefully we can kill it. That's only at 8, 8 HP. Knowing my luck, though, Slave Nader's dead. But yeah, so we're any legendary we encounter, we're going to kill. Any legendary we find, we're going to kill. And in the end, if I have to use a guide to find them all, then fine. I guess I'll consider that the completion point when we defeat them all. So I am playing this on an emulator, but I do I did get the internet clock working, so we'll be able to do events like Shoal Cave and stuff without much hassle. So let's see what the hell Slavenator has, though. We st an Ultra Ball already, for fuck's sake. <laughs> now you guys see why I love the Zigzagoon, and it Pick Me Up is amazing. We, we don't even know about the existence of Great Balls yet, and we already have an Ultra Ball. I don't know what that is, I think that's like a 0.5% chance at this level, actually. Anyways, healing up, because of course... Anyone faints, they're dead. And this early on, we can't lose anyone. Those exact games are gonna be pretty much useless at the second gym. So that's not a trainer. I think there's an item here though. Nope. Not very tall, so I sink right into the grass. Grass goes up my nose, and he sneezes. And I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> and we found a C dot. Um thought that was my cat for a second. So we're gonna tackle it first, and then of course that's gonna use bite. So we're just gonna tail off it so our next tackle kills it. For those of you who don't know, bite is an attack that takes damage that it, and absorbs damage that you take and doubles it and releases it at a ver at in two to three turns. So it could take if you have a very bulky Pokemon, you could take shit tons of damage. And just one hit KO anything, but again, anyone smart enough will just use a non damaging move. And I think this guy is a C dot as well, actually. Poochiena, Pokemon I'd really like to get. Possibly, I'd probably want to get. I wouldn't want a Silcoon, that's for damn sure. Or a Silcoon or Cascoon, that's for damn sure. Because I do not want to level up Coon. Anyways, in this game, there's the introduction. Oh wait, wait, we have one more guy. I remember actually losing my Trico to this guy. Wait, no, not this guy. Another guy later on, like after Pedalberg City during one of my practice runs. So it looks like this is gonna get Slavenator up to level eight. after the stock. Well, there we go, finally, and there's... Why couldn't the critical be earlier, really? Okay, well, we're level 8 now, and we defeated another trainer. So one thing I will never do is give Zigzagoon an item, because that stops a pick-me-up item from more... pick-me-up ability working from item. There's two P.E.K.K.A. Berries, which basically count as antidotes, if I remember correctly. And two Oran Berries, which are amazing at this level, and amazing for quite a ways into the game. Even though they will grow, I will not plant one. I don't think I'm going to be coming back for him. And I did have to use an antidote on Slavenator, actually, while leveling him. And he almost got killed by another Zigzagoon. So we're going to give an Oran Berry to Donut. Which basically gives him a big advantage, basically allows him to heal half of his health in a battle. But a 7 use an item. Again though, usually I won't, I won't wait for him to try to eat it, because that's a bit of a dangerous level of health for them. 
I don't feel comfortable doing it. So, time to beat down another Zigzagoon. And we're coming close to Pelford Gym. But as you saw earlier, there's an item down south of us. I think that's all. And my seven is getting a bit low. Um, we're gonna switch him out, I think. Yeah, another six second. Yeah, he's gonna have to wait for his level up. So, I won't be cutting out any of the battles, probably. Because, they're not that boring, but... Um, yeah, I won't be cutting out any of the battles, but I'll definitely be cutting out the grinding, and I'll be cutting out any traveling besides the initial trek there. After the initial trek somewhere, um, most of the time I'll cut it out. Won't be all the time, though. I can't promise I'll remember to do it all the time. Especially since I'm going to be recording pretty much all the time. And for some reason, we didn't kill that Zigzagoon instantly. Anyways, I think it's next level, or the level after next, we get Water Gun. So we're going to want to level up Donut pretty damn soon. And we're actually going to switch him out, because I don't want to take any unneeded damage this early on. I think right here we have a potion. Yep. And what the fuck did we run into this time? A Zigzagoon. What a surprise. So we're just gonna tackle the motherfucker, and yeah, stupid bitch uses growl, so this is gonna take even longer, unfortunately. Fugan ends up saying, I do know where a lot of stuff is, but not all of it. I do know pretty much everything that's in the game, though, but yeah, um, I don't remember where most of it is, and if I'm lucky, most of my memory will come back to me when we need it, so rule four of being able to revive a Pokemon using a max revive in the same battle, and only then, won't, won't be overpowered, or I won't break the Nuzlocke's feel to it, because, of course, I'm so bad, and I won't know where any of the, um, where any of the max revives are, and so we only have three or four, which we'll save for the Elite Four, because I have a feeling uh, I'm gonna need them, otherwise I'm gonna get fucked. What are you doing? Um, I guess you could see my profile. Oh, um, no. Uh, quit editing, yes. Yes. Look, I was wondering what the hell you did, but... Good. Yes, I know about ordinaries. Um, I wonder what the randomly chosen word is right now. So, let's see what's going on in here. Norman, yep. Oh, it looks like we came from the Johto recently apparently. That was something I didn't know. And, yep, they're talking about our in-game father. And I don't think that this is, that's something new to, I think that's something new to this game, water actually having reflections. Um, yes, if you like traveling, yeah, let me talk to you. So does pretty much everyone who's ever played a Pokemon game. I'm sure everyone who's played a Pokemon game would want to do what you want to do. Oh, you're looking for Wally? I'll find him in just a second. Little fucker. He's annoying as hell. So this is how fucked up our parents are. He gives this random guy his Pokemon and helps him catch Pokemon, but no, he, he, he they, they make us ride in a fucking moving van in the back of it and make us get our own Pokemon. No, now now we have to go and help out this little shit, get his. I mean, I mean, really? So anyways, this is all just a cutscene, basically. Um, we have to go help this little faggot called Wally catch his own Pokemon. And he's basically our rival for the game. And he's too stupid to know how to catch a Pokemon properly. So yes, he gets lucky and he finds a Pokemon that I think only has a 5% chance of appearing in the grass. If not lower. Again, all of these stats are coming from memory from, from Chugga Conroy's Emerald LP. 
where he goes to the effort and quality to put the catch rates and appearance, uh, the appearance rates and everything on the side. But again, Nuzlocke Challenge, no point in doing that since I probably won't even make it through the whole game. And he, really, he don't know how to, it takes him that long to select it. Anyways, he's a lucky son of a bitch and catches a Ralts. Which would have been nice, but again, would have been so annoying because I'd have to babysit the damn thing constantly. Anyways, Slavenator's gonna make, make some fun addition just for my pick me up. Only found an Ultra Bowl. So that little shit's gone off the written trip down, so we won't see him for a little while. But he's the closest we get to the to having a rival. So our dad won't fight us now because apparently we're we're not good enough for him. 